Okay, this is where me and Little Man will be for the next 30 days. Kip the Peak State Park, it's on the eastern shore. In other words, you gotta go down 64 and go across the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel Bridge, which is 26 miles long, and it, it cost me $18 to do it in the Subaru, but to me, this is one of the biggest parks I've ever worked or ever really been in, but back in the 80s, being a, a best friend, you spend a lot of time here because this was one of my favorite parks. I believe grand total, they got like seven different campgrounds, like 150 campsites, but I'll give you a view of the campground. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm the A campground. This is actually site 38. If the post has yellow on it, that means it's a reserve only. If it has brown, it means it's a walk-in. So, as you can see, each site has, I think they do have 30 amp, 50 amp. They do have water right there. If you look next to the pedal store right there, you'll see that little red cap. That's your sewer right there. And as you can see, they all have picnic tables and they all have fire pits. Overall, super nice campground. And on the weekend, it is packed. So if you ever decide to come here, you better make your reservations. But as you can see, it's basically um, kind of like emptied out since I came through here the other day. But um, yesterday, every one of these sites was filled and it was it was packed, you know, but there you go. That's your view. This um, staircase right here will take you out to the beach. And if you're looking at those boats out there, they're actually concrete ships left over from, from World War II. And yes, I did say concrete. That's what they were made out of there. Concrete merchant vessels, but they use them for barrier reefs. I'll get you a close-up here in a second of them. That's pretty wild, isn't it? I think they have seven of them grand total, but, you know, they use them as very reefs, but I never thought I'd see a concrete ship that floated, but there you go. Kip the Peak State Park, Virginia. Okay, I'm now on F campground, and these campgrounds on D, E, F, and G are strictly for tents only, but as you can see, you got a little space to park your car or two cars i'm pretty sure to take two cars behind me you got a picnic table and a fire pit got all kind of room to set your tent up there overall this is what i like better than uh, being out there what i call camping in a parking lot or better known as clamming but as camp host that's what you have to do you have to stay you know where the majority of the campers are i believe they have like 50 tent sites and about a hundred or so RB sites, but let's run out to the pier and see what the pier looks like. They do have yachts too here. Uh, I've never really been in one, so I really don't know what they look like on the inside, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty nice. But let's walk up there and see if we can look on the inside and get a peek of one. Okay, as you can see, it's got a um, lantern pole, picnic table, place to cook barbecue pit or whatever you want to call it and it's got a pretty nice walkway I know y'all can't see in there but it's got a bed and a little uh, couch and a little table and I'm not really sure if it has a bathroom and I can't see because it's pretty dark in here but this is what you call a yut y-u-r-t back deck looks pretty nice got a path down to the beach right there so you could run on down there and hang out on the beach if you wanted to but Yep, yeah, pretty nice. Got a big old bay window on the back side of it. You know, if it was raining, you could just sit there. Look at the size of that tree right there. That's beautiful. Okay, they do have a gift shop as you're going on to the pier, but due to the COVID, I don't know if it's open or not, but we're getting ready to go out on the pier so y'all can see what it looks like. So let's go on out there and run on out there. Okay, now if you, can, you don't know it, I'm out on the pier right now. I'm looking back at the beach line. Probably got a pretty good sized beach, but um, yeah, I'm out on the pier. I drove a cart out here, so pretty nice. It's got um picnic tables in that cover, and I guess they got a cutting station and everything. But there's what one looks like. But um, yeah, I'll give you all a close up of the ships. 
There you go, they just have them all in a straight line. Got them butted together, but if you look away, give you all somewhat of a, a view of their area. And as you can see behind me, you got more beach. I mean, you see in front of me, you got more beach over there, but pretty cool, isn't it? I used to come here fishing a lot back in the day. Look out in the water, you got two kayakers out there, but isn't that pretty cool? Well, they just butt to butt. Right there, you look at the map about three o'clock, it'll say, you are here. So that's where we are right there, if you look at that map. They also have a boat ramp too. And as you can see, there's more beach over on this side, so pretty good sized beach. Pretty sweet, isn't it? I know those ships just they get me man that heavy being able to float but there you go well that's my view giving you all a little scenic route of Kip to Peak State Park Virginia where I'm the camp post and um for the next 30 days I hope you all enjoy the video check the park out because it's really it's really a nice park I mean it costs a bit to go across the bridge $18 with for me and my scamp but other than that it's well worth it but it's a sweet park it's one of my favorites but if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up uh, please subscribe i'll see you in my next one